welcome back to the channel. When I first came onto YouTube, I told myself and I told all of you guys that I wanted to be consistent. I wanted to be something that you could rely on, like seeing my work and everything at a decent time and being consistent is key and everything like that. And I have been. Over the past year and some change, I've missed about a handful of weeks from different things here and there. Recently, I picked up um, a massive project that was supposed to be um, more for creative outlook, something that was for fun. And with that project, um, underestimating that project, I picked up several other smaller projects that I like to do. I love all of them. I love all the projects. I love YouTube. I love what I'm doing. But in the midst of all of that, um, this massive project that I'm working on, I'm not able to sustain it with the other projects, let alone with my YouTube channel where I've had so many projects I'm working on or so many people asking me for advice where I'm completely overwhelmed and it's in a time of my life where I am working a consistent 40 hour a week job um, it's in a time of my life where um, I have little to no time to do anything outside of the 40 hour a week job when in other times I would have like a job that would pay me between 30 to 30 30 to 40 hours a week and now I'm getting paid a consistent 40 hours which means I'm working a consistent 40 hours and if anything I'm working more than 40 hours a week I'm working 50 uh, 60 depending on what I'm doing and then on top of you know church and you know wanting to serve there and having that as a priority that's something that I'm not deciding to budge on at all um because i i need that i need community as you know i need church i need that time of pick me up it's what keeps me going um and not just church but of course jesus keeps me going i'm not gonna lie it's a lot um and i feel that if i like this is something i would love to happen if it was the only job i did and then Friday night it kind of clicks off and I'm like oh I have this 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 and then Saturday during the day it's like whoa I have to shoot my YouTube video today what should I shoot how should I shoot it and it's at this point it's too late to really shoot it unless they spend all day on it but having different other shoots for this other project that I have it just became overwhelming so long story short um, I am, for temporary reasons, will have to stop making videos on YouTube. And I thought of it in the back of my mind, and I didn't think much about it afterwards, but I met a good, you know, friend, acquaintance, you may say, and we were just talking about being creative and how she was saying that she had to stop for a while for her to kind of spark her creativity back again um, because as well as me creating for all these other different projects I lost my creativity within my YouTube and what I want to project to the world and I'm not gonna lie the past I've been producing videos just to produce it and when I kind of told her that she was like okay yeah like it's something that you should probably consider um, because you don't want to just produce just to produce you want to produce it because it's an overflowing of your thought patterns your creativity and YouTube stopped being that and I think it was because I just didn't have time anymore to really think outside the box to have time to create to have time to get stuff done to have people come on the channel with me and um, so all that being said it's not over it's just right now I can't say when I'll be back but um, when I come back like it will be awesome it's okay to take a break 
I know there are bigger YouTube um, people like Alicia Marie and, you know, Lindley Ashton, people that all had to come to themselves one day and like, look, it is okay to take a break. It's not going to destroy you. Like, you know, um, give yourself rest or give yourself priority for something else. Taking this time to get my other project done, which you will definitely see. Follow my Instagram at Angie under, uh, Angie C underscore 92. I don't read that out much, but here we are. Follow me on that Instagram. Um, and um, from there, I'll be posting things on my story about this project and when it's coming out. So until next time, friends, peace. And if you have any ideas in between now and the time that I come back to YouTube and you have ideas you really think that I should be able to do, just comment down below. Um, I will definitely see them. I will do my research and I will do my best. But until then, talk to you guys later. Peace.